What's going on guys? So today we have a special video. We're going to be doing a first impressions of Kurtzpel. This is a game I've actually had my eye on for quite a while now and now it's actually got released on Steam and it's free to play. So I was thinking, you know what, let's just give it a shot, see if it's worth playing. And uh, yeah, let's just jump into it. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video and let's go. So right off the bat they have like this little test thing, probably to like determine what type of class or character you're going to be. Uh, so let's just kind of breeze through here and uh, let's see. Definitely logical. Uh, I, I guess inward. And straightforward. Looks like Judge would be my type. Says it will not influence your stats, so I guess these don't really matter that much, I'm gonna assume. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Judge. I'm gonna take the game's advice and see if that works out for me. It's time. Alright, so now we have a male it's and a time. female. It's time. It's time. And let's see here. I think I'm gonna make a male. I know it's kind of like a sin to make a, a male on this game because it's so, like, female heavy. Uh, it's time. But yeah, it's I'm gonna time. go for the male. I'm gonna switch it up. Uh, let's go for uh, muscular. Definitely want to be strong in combat, right? It's time. Uh, let's say I can make him it's taller. Time. Let's make him kind of tall. All right, here we go. Pretty good customization. Got some different eyes. I'm gonna go for. I like this eye color. That's pretty nice. Let's go for hair. We got different hairs for the front. Different options here. I'm gonna go for this one. Back of my hair, let's see. Yeah, that one looks the coolest to me. Let's go back to the color. You kind of change from dark and light, so that's kind of cool. You have a lot of customization options, that's for sure. Uh, hmm. Should I go for the white hair, guys? I'm gonna go a little bit blue hair. Oh, that's cool. So we got side stuff here. We got a tail here. I mean, if you want to look like Yasuo from freaking League of Legends. Um, yeah, that's cool. Okay. We'll go with that. I think that's about everything for me. Oh, bus size. Can't forget this. Hell yeah. Make everything large. Alright, I think we got the perfect character now. Even can check the background and see how it looks. Man, my dude freaking goes to the gym like seven days a week or something. Look at this dude. Alright. That's good enough for me. Alright, so it looks like two different classes, kind of a, a Breaker and a Slayer. This one's probably like an Archer, this one's like a Berserker Warrior. Let's see a little, uh, we got a little preview here. So yeah, this one's like an Archer class, range, DPS. Looks pretty cool. And then this one we have a, like a Warrior guy, giant ass sword. Personally, I'm always a fan of more like melee classes. I find them way more interesting and kind of interactive. Uh, so I'm going to go for the melee sword class. This one looks pretty badass. And we have a little accessory we can choose from. Uh, I'm going to go for the face mask. This actually looks kind of cool. And I think we're all ready to go. Uh, let's see. They better not have taken Jark. They have. There's an imposter running around. Alright, we're good. Let's jump into the game. Alright, so now we're in the tutorial. We have this uh, scary guy chasing us. Looks like we have to take him out. Let's try out some combos. Right. Ooh, that's pretty badass. Oh my goodness. That actually is real. What is this? Oh! I'm pressing all random buttons, guys. Honestly. Really destroying this guy. Let's try uh, this Q. What does this do? Oh, it's not charged up. Never mind. Psych. Let's try the E. Out of my way. So you just spam your sword like a times. Got the F. Ooh, that's badass. Let's try the R. And then you press uh, left click to get, you jump to him. That's cool. Let's try tab. Uh, nothing? Okay, shift. Oh, just, okay. That's like a roll, a dodge. Let's try a combo. Oh, a little spin to win. I like it. Spin to win, baby. Spin to win. Alright, looks like we have like the little uh, city hub here. Definitely a decent amount of players. Looks like uh, a bunch of new players, that's for sure. Let's see my character up close. Yeah, I look pretty badass. I like my character. Oh, she has like some freaking horns on her head. What the heck? And an eye patch? She's like a pirate demon. Huh. Alright, we got a mission map here. Let's see where this goes. Oh my goodness. Do I want to fight this guy? Holy crap. Okay, let's go. Out of my way. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, that's like his shield there. It's broken. Dodge out of his way. Try him, try him. Oh my gosh. He shoots little bullets too. Uh oh, that doesn't look good. Dodge that. Alright, so we tapped him a bunch of times and now my Q is all the way charged up, so let's see this up here. Here we go. get away! Oh, this is like ultimate ability. Hell yeah! Badass ultimate. Alright, so we're on a new mission, taking down this, uh, demonic beast. This fire dragon with scary claws and scary eyes. Let's see if we can slay him. Let's combo him down. Hold this, hold this down. Out of my way. We gotta break his, uh, shield. Oh gosh, lava. I can see that. Go, go, go. Oh, we can do this, we can do this. He's almost dead. Bit DPS. There we go. Hell yeah. So after killing that, like, fire dragon boss, now you can actually invite people to your party. Uh, let's see if this guy will join my party. Okay, cannot receive. Waiting. He's probably AFK. That looks pretty badass. I like his hair. Wait, what? What just happened? Excuse me? Is that what happens when you join a party? I'm so confused right now. <laughs> Hold up. It looks like this map is for like PvP, I guess? Just says deathmatch. Um, I, I guess, what is this? Runaway Island 1? Monster? Let's let's do some PvP. We've done a lot of boss fights. Let's see, uh, yeah, let's see some PvP. Let's try this one. Alright, so now we have some PvP. Let's see here. Oh my goodness. I say this guy's on my team. Alright, here we go. Oh, I'm getting wrecked. I gotta help on my team. Get back up. Not yet. There we go. Let's go. It's hard to catch up with them because they're all range. Out of my way. Well, I 100% got destroyed in that fight, but let's try uh, Capture the Flay and see if that one's fun. Alright, so this is another two-on-two. -two. This is Capture the Flay. This is actually pretty cool. It's like an underground cave area. Let's see here. Let's get on here. Get away from my Flay. Uh oh Let me get back around. This is a really cool area, though. I kind of like the two-on-twos. It'd be really fun if you could like duo with your friend though. Have like Discord up, you know. Well, I think it's safe to say I'm really terrible at PvP. Ooh, look at this person. They got like demon wings, I think. Yeah, that's pretty cool looking. She got like a, a butterfly staff. It looks like there's a day and night cycle, and it looks really beautiful at nighttime. You can see like the lights and stuff, it looks really nice. I love that. Look at that. Definitely is a beautiful game, that's for sure. I've done a lot of different boss missions, and I really haven't received any type of new equipment, so I'm kind of surprised with that. I don't know if that's just because I'm too early in the game, but I haven't received like a new weapon or like any type of new gearing where I feel like I'd get some progression, so that's kind of odd. So now we have this new mission called Runaway Island. Got these two uh, elf ladies chasing me right now. Like crazy. One has an arrow, one has some little daggers. Maybe I just run like this forever. Two hours later. Oh crap, we're in time too. I better take this seriously. Here we go. I go up here? Or is this, this is probably an invisible wall? Yeah, invisible wall. That would have been cool though. They're much easier than the bosses I fought, honestly. The other ones, like the dragon and stuff. Definitely not as difficult. Ooh, 
I like that little dodge I did. Alright, let's take her out. We got this. It's not that hard. Almost. There we go. Mission complete. So after playing for a couple hours, I think it's time to kind of share my thoughts. But honestly, the best part about Kurt's Bell had to be the combat. It was super fluid and smooth, and attacking enemies felt very impactful. Also, it's very reaction based, so knowing when to dodge attacks or go in is very important, especially in PvP, which makes me think it can be pretty skill based trying to predict other players' movements. Another thing I enjoyed was the various boss fight missions that you had to complete. Each boss felt epic and badass with enough difficulty to make it feel super good when you finally slayed that monster. Really with Kurt's Pell, it is 100% a PvP focused game. It really doesn't have much PvE at all. It's just some like little side missions to fight these various little bosses. It's not like anything where you have a ton of PvE lore and raids and dungeons. And honestly, if you're a PvP person, this would be an awesome game for you because the combat is so much fun. Uh, I feel like you can have a blast for a couple hours a day. But if you don't like PvP, this is definitely not the game for you at all. And honestly, it's a very instance type heavy game. Like, it's just like a 50 player lobby hub that you stand in this area. And then you have your mission book that you go and travel to these different zones where you have PvP or a little bit of PvE monster bosses that you can fight. But overall, there's no type of open world content where you can just be like, Hey, let's jump off that balcony and go explore that land over there. <laughs> That's not going to happen. And personally, I'm a really big fan of being able to do that. Also, if you go on the Kurtz Pell Steam page, you'll see that it's not pretty at all. It is just mostly negative reviews from players, and most of them are actually saying is the game's very pay to win. And obviously that is a big con, but I can't really confirm that nor deny it, as I haven't put enough hours in to really tell. And if a game is PvP focused and is pay to win, it's just a terrible combination because you have people with unfair advantages just because of their gear, and they're probably going to be stomping you out just because they spent more money on the game instead of being actually more skilled than you. Either way, I think Kurt's Pell is definitely worth giving a try for a couple hours. It is free to play, so why not? Uh, also, if you love PvP, then definitely try and download it and play it because I think you might enjoy it. Uh, personally for me, I'm just going to play it as a side game. You know, log in once a week for a couple hours, do some deathmatch, you know, kill some other players, and then just log off. It's never going to be really my main game. I'm not going to play Kurt's Pell for five hours a day every day. Uh, but overall, I think it's a decent game. We'll see how it plays out. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, make sure to let me know with a like and also subscribe to the channel. Uh, these type of videos are very new for me. I don't really do first impressions or anything non-Blade and Soul related. So I definitely want to do more of this. I find this very fun to make and hopefully you guys enjoyed it too. Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video real soon and I'm out.